Uh, the Seekers is a survival game. It starts off with the classic aircraft crash uh, and you crash on an island and you need to survive and build yourself an SOS signal to get um, to get rescued. Now, the more of the SOS signal you build, as far as I'm, I'm aware, you uh, attracts more Seekers, which are very, very dangerous. Uh, it's classic survival. Uh, it's in very, very, very early access. It was only released in early access on the uh, 3rd of December. And since then, there's been five patches, I think, which is uh, which is actually pretty good. But um, it's probably something that uh, is in its very infancy at the moment and something that you might want to wish list and keep your eye on uh, as it further develops. Uh, it looks like it's uh, got some pretty good mechanics and stuff, anything that you would expect, all the stuff that you would expect from... Um, uh, from a survival game, including the ability to find uh, military uh, drops and military weapons or military grade weapons and stuff. So we're going to have a squiz at it today. Don't forget, guys, that if you hit like and uh, comment on the video, it helps a lot. Hitting like helps hugely, so I would appreciate it if you did that. There is also links below to my Discord and stuff like that. Uh, if you so, as well as the game, by the way, if you uh, so desire. All right, let's get straight into a new game. I'm leaving this on the uh, on. Um, I'm leaving this on uh, spawn. Yep, we'll leave it on default. Spawn seekers if SOS signal is off. Uh, all of this, all of the in-game settings, uh, graphic settings and stuff, are very very basic at this point in time. I've left them all as default. So let's get stuck straight into a game and uh, and see what the seekers is about. It has been two days since the plane crash. I've managed to heal my wounds, but it seems that nobody else has survived. I had to flee and hide. There are some sort of unknown creatures. I can hear them roaming around, especially at night. I call them seekers. I saw a lot of luggage on crashing on the crash site. Maybe I can find some supplements there. There's a few spelling errors there and a little bit of uh, grammatical, but uh, I'm assuming that's a translation issue. I remember, I remember I seen some sort of military cargo uh, going into the plane back at the airport. Maybe there's military containers around containing guns and ammo. They are horrific creatures. I believe the people that lived here in this remote place have been killed and eaten by them. They seem to easily spot light at night, so I was not able to set a campfire or produce some SOS signal with fire because I was afraid to be hunted by them. And here we are in the game. A little bit of artifacting on the shadows there, but uh, yeah, relatively, relatively okay looking. Um, all right, so the crash site's over there. It's a hundred meters over there. So let's uh, let's see what we've got here. I'm um, this is this is a military crate, so it's probably lucky. I uh, I think loot um, spawns randomly in the area and stuff, so. Let's open this up, uh, and we have a shotgun, which we'll throw into number two, and we have an M1911, which is absolutely awesome as well. I don't think we've got any ammo in them, though. Nope, we don't. All right, that's, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. The other thing that we probably want to do is start collecting some resources. I'm just going to go classic survival. It's asking me to get back to the uh, crash site, which we will do, which we will do. So this is uh, my first recording for the new year. It is 2023. Um, I'm, uh, pity you can't pick that stuff up. Um, I'm planning on a lot for the channel this year. Um, we are going to, uh, you know, we're going to, we're not going to go in, in different directions per se, but, uh, a, a mixture of uh, streaming and uh, and recording is going to be the plan for this year. So um, probably a little bit more streaming as well, uh, which I was doing late, uh, sort of for the, for the very late part of last year. So, all right, there's a deer there. There is a bunny rabbit there. There's another loot crate over here. What's this? A cucumber. <laughs> it was. It it happened to be sticking out of the ground in a very precarious position. You wouldn't want to fall on it, would you? All right, here we go. Uh, a Molotov. Okay, and mine. That might be handy. That might be handy. What's this over here? Is this another? No, that's a little bit of rock there. 
Okay, I'm, I'm kind of looking for some sticks on the ground and stuff, but it wants us to go over to the crash site. So let's go and check out the crash site. Just uh, pick anything up that stands out as we go. A bit of metal scrap there. There is a lot of crafting and stuff in this. So here's our aircraft. Now, uh, one thing that I did read uh, from the reviews and stuff, Oh, that was me walking. One thing that I did read from the reviews uh, is that uh, don't go into the aircraft because at the moment you kind of get get a bit stuck in there. Uh, we've got a flashlight. That's going to be really handy. We're going to put that in. Uh, we put that in number six. No. Maybe we'll be able to do that in a sec. We've got some alcohol there and we've got some pills as well. All right. Use an axe to cut plants uh, to collect fibers. Use an axe to cut plants to collect sticks. Use a campfire to produce an SOS signal at night and get rescued. All right, so I think the uh, I think the first thing that we are going to have to do is we're going to have to. This is the crafting menu here, which uh, at this point in time is uh, is yeah, it's it's quite comprehensive, isn't it? Uh, so we've got a shelter. We're going to have to do. We're going to need branches and stuff like that. We're going to need to craft ourselves a stone axe. So we need a little bit of rope, and we need uh, a couple of branches. We've got uh, down the bottom there, hydration, proteins, vitamins, and energy. Um, there we go. Stacking and unstacking items. Cool. All right, lovely. And it looks like we can uh, we can set ourselves up with some armor and stuff like that as well. Uh, you can right-click these to send them across. Probably don't need another flashlight at this point in time, but we'll grab the alcohol. Going to have to find sticks on the ground. Um, which is going to have to be a bit of a priority there as well. Yeah, so don't go in the aircraft if you do try this game out uh, until I'm aware that it... There we go, lighter. Uh, what did we get there? Uh, it's I for inventory. Did we get something for our head? No, we didn't. I was, I was looking somewhere else. Um, so we've got some stones. We've got a cucumber and stuff. Okay, there is a... There we go, a bottle... Water bottle is good. Cloth and a, and a chocolate bar is good. But we might as well just get all of this stuff as quickly as we possibly can. There's a med kit, uh, some more alcohol and some more cloth, which is good. There's some more metal scrap there. Uh, electronic part and another med kit. Uh, do the med kits, those big med kits, yes, they do. They do uh, stack, which is really, really good. We'll grab some more metal scrap there. We'll interact with this. I'm not sure where we're going to uh, set up our camp. Probably, maybe not it. Maybe not close to this. Maybe close to some water or something like that. We, I don't think we have any type of map, which we don't at the moment. Perhaps we will be able to uh, grab one. Uh, a battery is going to be really, really handy. Uh, what? Do, what's in you? Uh, there we go. Now you, you probably will. Look at this and go, ah, oh, yeah, this looks very, very familiar. We've seen this before in the form of a, uh, a particular game that uh, has this start scenario. Um, and we have, and we have. So the dev has a big um, has a big job ahead of him. Now, I'm not sure exactly how big this map is, so it's going to be interesting to see how much is actually in the map. I'm, I'm guessing that there's going to be quite a lot. Um, there we go, there's a stone. Yeah, still no, still no, is that a pumpkin? Is that a pumpkin sitting down there? It is. It is a pumpkin. There we go. Well, we're going to want that, aren't we? We can make ourselves a knife at the moment, so I reckon that we might actually create ourselves a knife, and we might throw that in number, number three. And I reckon that might be exactly how we uh, get ourselves sticks. There we go. Simi, it's uh, Survival 101, isn't it? It's Survival 101. That's how you get sticks, buddy. You craft the knife and you chop a tree up. Uh, there's another stone there. All right, so now we should be able to we should be able to craft ourselves. Uh, some rope. Well, we're going to need some rope. So we've got some plant fiber. So let's keep gathering that. I'm going to gather that and then we're going to get ourselves a, um, and we're going to get ourselves a bit of a rope. There we go. There's plant fiber on the ground there. So it looks like we're only getting one plant fiber per, uh, can't get those ones, but we can get these ones. 
Come on, you guys know me. Look, there's some, there's a couple of plant fibers there, and there's some there and some there. All right, beautiful. Uh, okay, we should be able to craft ourselves a rope now. So we're going to need, I think, two. So we're going to have to get some more. We'll have to grab some more uh, plant fiber. We'll also grab some more rocks, although I don't want to overdo it on the rocks. Okay, we should have enough now to uh, make ourselves another rope, which we do. We we're about one off. Um, we're about one plant fiber off uh, being able to make another rope. I'm assuming that we're going to have to, uh, that it's going to be a pretty important thing. The plant fiber is really hard to see on the ground. So the trees are dropping quite a few more. Let's go into here, craft ourselves an axe in the tools. Uh, right there, we'll create that. We only needed one rope for that, so that's good. Let's craft ourselves a pickaxe as well. There we go. And uh, if we craft another rope, although I'm probably getting a little bit ahead of myself, what weapons can we do? We can do a bow and a wooden spear. Let's create a wooden spear for now, uh, which is good. And... Uh, all right, so we might throw the axe in number five. Throw the pickaxe into there. And we'll throw the spear into there. And we're going to have to make ourselves a, a bow at some point as well. All right, so now we've got an axe. I think our axe was number... No, what, the, what number did I put our axe in? I put our axe in number five. We've got five and six. So there's not there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of um, tool belt space in there. There we go. Especially when you we could probably um, okay we pick up that we will pick up that. The other thing that we need to check is what type of um, what type of uh, inventory space we can carry as well. That feels pretty solid. Feels. Feels like you're hitting a tree. Ooh, that was not bad, was it? Does feel like you're hitting a tree, which is good. Okay, so we're going to need to build a campfire. I don't want to be... I don't think I want to be too close to the... Oh, I don't know. We're probably going to need to be relatively close to water as well. Um... There was a river down here, so maybe... I don't want to be too close to the, uh too close to the uh to the plane itself there's another box over there i think what we'll do is uh let's go into here and uh have a look at what we've got in placeables uh we need three rope and two of those we can put a fire down which will be good um and we've got to do a shelter so we're going to need or oh, we're going to need a lot more plant fiber okay cool we can do that uh okay let's go and do that then let's go and grab ourselves as much uh as much of that as we possibly can it's starting to get dark so i'm a little bit concerned that uh that we're going to get ourselves into a little bit of trouble here i spent too much time looking through those suitcases i think grab as much uh, of the plant fiber as we possibly can and the sticks as well but uh plant fiber is the big thing Looks like there's uh, quite a yeah you can chop down quite a few little bits and pieces, can't you? So that's pretty good. There's nothing else there. There's another plant fiber there. We need ten plant fiber by themselves, and then we also need. Uh, I really want to get a shelter and a, a shelter done. Uh, ten plant fiber by themselves, and we also need another three ropes, which take five each. So there's another fifteen. Oh, it's getting dark. It's getting dark, Simmy. I think the I think the size of the trees. No, I thought maybe the size of the tree um, determines um, how much material you actually get out of it. Okay, so we need uh, plant fiber there and plant fiber there. It is starting to get dark. Uh, yeah, four rope. And uh, so let's do another three rope materials. One, two, and three. 
And that leaves us with enough to create a shelter. All right, I'm going to I'm going to put the shelter here. Okay, so rotate with the uh, mouse wheel and hit E to build. Perfect. That allows us to uh, save the game and to sleep as well. And you can dismantle it. That's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, right. So this is probably actually okay, I reckon. Let's have a look at uh, what we need to create a campfire, which is there, and we can build that. Uh, we can interact with that, and we can do some cooking with some food and stuff, which is really, really good. Uh, what else can we do? Because we're going to sleep for the night anyway. Placeable-wise, if we get some another four rope, if we get another four rope, we can uh, build ourselves a workbench, which is going to be really, really good, and collect some more stones to build. All right, cool. So we might, uh, until it gets a little bit darker, I really don't want to, I don't know what these Seekers, uh, uh, I know they look like Nosferatu-type uh, vampire bat creatures without the wings. Um, so they do look uh, quite horrifying. So but if if I uh, if I light the fire night, then I think it's going to uh, attract track them so okay military base here and we've got some 45 ammo and some 762 ammo lovely oh uh, yep that's night time that's night time okay i think the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to reload this beast all right, I like the gun. The gun looks good. The gun looks really, really good. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's a default asset or what. Uh, let's go back into here, and we need to craft some more rope. We can craft another four of those. Three. Four. Okay, and that'll allow us to craft a workbench, which we can, uh, which we can put down here for now, I think. Oh crap! <laughs> Just build it, Simmy. Don't uh, don't waste your valuable ammunition. <laughs> My God, hope that's not gonna attract anything. Okay, so it's a, we've got the day one and we've got the time up the top there. It is uh, it is eight o'clock. Uh, I might risk it and just chop a couple more of these down. Get a few more resources. Okay, there we go. Um, the swings actually, uh, I like the swing an animations. It um, it has it gives you a little bit of, bit of uh, body sway as well. Come on, you can get that. There we go. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. All right, I think it might be time to sleep for the night, I reckon. Uh, although, am I risking it? Am I risking it? Maybe we can go in and get our... That's our pickaxe, isn't it? Yeah, our stone pickaxe. Oh. I was thinking, of, okay, here's a, here's a stone. Oh, hello. Fiber. Fiber's going to be a big thing in this, I think. Fiber and rope. There we go. All right, do we automatically collect stones from that? No, we've got metal ore. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I reckon it might be sleep time, guys. I reckon it might be sleep time. Let's get the gun out. Let's interact with that. And let's sleep for, if it's 9 o'clock, 3, maybe 9 hours. All right, first thing in the morning. Wow, that's crazy, that sky. That sky is crazy. Let's go in here and have a look at what we can actually build here. We can make fish oil. We can uh, make nails. Uh, we can create planks, which requires a saw, which I don't think we have. What we're looking for is uh, a bit of storage, I think. Leather. Uh, flint and steel will probably be a good thing. Uh, materials. Is there a... Tools... We can do a lantern. We can create a saw if we have a sharpened blade. Uh, we've got a steel axe now because we've actually on the uh, workbench and a canteen. Uh, we're looking at um, 
good energy, but our hydration and stuff is down as well. Uh, we've got a crossbow, which is pretty cool. Combat knife, metal spear, and a... Well, it looks like a machete, doesn't it? We need leather and stuff for that. We're going to have to go out and... Uh, Armor-wise, bone armor, bone helmet, metal armor, and metal helmet. Interesting. All right, what else can we do? Um, craft a basic bow for hunting uh, and protection. Well, we've got our we've got our gun. I don't want to use I don't want to use our gun up too much either. Uh, maybe we can. Put our wood spear in there. Is is there a placeables? In placeables, is there a uh, is there a wooden chest? There is. We need nails for storage, so we're going to have to get a furnace going. So let's go and pick up some rocks. Uh, also, weapons wise, we need two rope. We should be able to make two rope easily enough. One, two, and we might create one, two. We'll do a stack of arrows. Shit, shit. Oh, crap. Where's the other one coming from? Oh, yeah, headshot. Headshot. There's another one coming in somewhere. Oh, his head's gone. Holy crap, there they go. I was so afraid I was going to run out of ammunition there. All right, okay, I'm glad. I am so glad we had this gun on us. Uh, what the hell were we doing? Oh, we were collecting stones, weren't we? And we were creating a bow. <gasps> Blimey. Um, we haven't created the bow yet, have we? No, weapons. Craft a bow. Thank you very much. And I'm going to swap that out with the... I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna take the spear away. No, it won't let me do that. I'm gonna put you in there, and I'm hopefully gonna put you in. Don't seem to be able to remove the wooden spear and replace it with the knife. Don't know why. Maybe we can drop it. Drop here. There we go. Okay. All right. Perfect. Uh, how much ammunition do we have left? We've got 23 left. Okay, cool. <laughs> Isn't bad. Not bad at all. Let's craft another... Uh... Oh, crap. I just crafted another wood spear. You dick. I thought that I was... Uh... I thought that I was crafting... Uh... Arrows. Basic arrows. All right, okay, cool. Uh, we need to go and get ourselves some stone and stuff like that. As far as I'm aware, the uh, the camp will have, like the crash site, you know how the crash site has a a uh, thing over the top of it? I think, yeah, our shelter has one in there as well, so that's really, really good. All right, we, uh, we definitely need more of these. Uh, have we got the bow? Now. Well, we hit him gonna have to uh we're gonna have to chase him a little bit i think which we can do easily enough we'll track him i'm gonna pick you up while i'm here don't lose sight there we go okay here we go I don't know what... Uh, I don't think there's any drop on the arrows. I don't think there's any drop on the arrows. I probably should be killing a... Uh, killing a bloody rabbit instead because I'm pretty sure that one shot will kill a rabbit, right? Ah, yes. Got him. All right. Perfect. Get your gun out again, Simmy, just in case. Uh, interact. Skinning. Okay. Oh, eight. Bone. and some hide and our arrows oh yes we get our arrows back i love that i love that i don't like durability though but i love the fact that we get our arrows back what's in here 
Another one of those. Oh, more ammo. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're, 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 gathering, uh, we're gathering rocks. We need 10 rocks to make ourselves a forge. Don't want to go too far away from our shelter. Just going to get that back out. There's another pumpkin over here. We, we do need to eat something. I did forget. Uh, let's... Uh, do we have to put this in? Oh, you just double click it. Okay, cool. All right, so we've had a drink. So hydra hydration's up. Uh, we do have proteins and vitamins here as well. So let's eat one of those. Uh, I actually ate two of those. And let's eat a pumpkin. Okay, and our vitamins are up. All right, perfect. We probably want to... Grab ourselves another pumpkin while we're here as well. Everything is running really, really smoothly. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm quite impressed with how how smooth it's all running. I know that the graphics aren't, uh, aren't woohoo, you know, um, triple A grade or anything like that, but. Gotcha. <laughs> There's our arrow. Let's, uh, oh no, don't eat it. Oh no, it said that I was eating it. What the hell? It said that I was eating it, but we weren't. All right, cool. Uh, right, okay, more rocks, more rocks. There's a boar over there. I don't have, I don't, I don't really have the confidence to kill a boar. But we should be able to cook some, uh, we should be able to cook some food. Look, there's a little, there's a little chunk of water here. We could have uh, we could have built here. This would have been a perfect. Well, actually, we might build here. Press E for water interactions. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to eat any water at the moment. But uh, if we head in that direction, that's probably a really good place to build. I think. Look, there's another suitcase over here. More cloth, another med kit, more rocks. Um, I don't know what we got out of. Uh, I don't know what we got out of that other one. What did we get out of it? Oh, we got iron ore out of it, didn't we? We're going to get stone out of this, maybe. Sulfur. Okay, so that's sulfur. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? That makes a whole pile of sense. So, what do we get stone out of? It's in here. This looks kind of stony, doesn't it? Stone, 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 yay! Go Simi. Okay, perfect. Very happy about that. We should have enough now to make a furnace. There's also a pumpkin here. We're going to get that. Uh, I'm guessing there's, uh, I think there was farming. I think I've seen farming plots and stuff as well. So uh, it should be a, um, it should be a good one to... Let's go in and interact with that. Uh, it needs... It produces charcoal. Uh, it needs wood. And it needs... Okay, there we go. Lovely. And we need food. One, two, and three. I do like the sound. I do like the sound. Uh, the other thing that we want to do is we need to create ourselves uh, in placeables a furnace. Well, to be honest, I'm thinking that, that I might move this camp over there. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it like this for now. We'll do it like this for now. Okay, perfect. Uh, this is going to need some... So we're going to need some, uh, uh, some timber in there. How are we going on there? Uh, food is cooking... Let's chop this tree over here down. Look very forward to getting into the... Uh, whoa. Grab those and that and that. Check our food. Uh, it is nearly cooked, so I don't want to... Uh, and you can extinguish the fire, which is actually really, really good. Okay, take that. Take that take that and let's cook did we have another one maybe we didn't okay let's extinguish the fire for now because uh 
Fire during the day does apparently attract does attract from what they're saying um seekers. There we go. Heaps more ammo. Lucky, luckily, we found that ammo. That was good. Probably need to leave my um, leave my weapon on me. Uh, some meat will give us protein, actually. Um, I'd like to see, like in in this little uh, in this little um, pop up, the little tooltip, which is good because all games should have um, tooltips like that. But I'd like to see. Um, there we go. I'd like to see it. Um, Give you an idea of, of what, I mean, I, we all know meat gives you protein and stuff like that, but uh, just give you a little bit of an idea on what um, on what it does. This will increase your vitamins and just scrap that. It says that eating meat, meat will decrease your hunger, but it should really give you protein, shouldn't it? So, all right, so we've got some ores working now. Uh, the next thing that we need to do probably is uh, if we have a look in here, uh, housing wise we're going to need to create some nails which will be okay that'll be fine we can do that and uh, we, we can start putting down um, some foundations and stuff like that um, but what I might do probably create a bandage actually that would probably be a pretty handy idea that gives you three bandages what I'm going to do though is I'm going to leave this first look here and I'm probably going to do a, uh, a first look part two I think or should I just uh, should I just keep it going for a sec? I might keep it going just until we until we get maybe a little bit of building done, just so that you guys can see the building mechanics as well. Uh, let's see. I should be able to make nails here. I think tools, materials, nails, create. Oh, you need to equip a hammer. So we need to actually build ourselves a bloody hammer as well. Uh, tools. Hammer. So we're going to need some more rope. Uh, we've got enough to create one piece of rope, I think. Yeah, so we're going to have to go and get ourselves some more. All right, that's okay. We can do that. We'll get that out and we'll grab ourselves a little bit more. Uh... I don't want to use all my wood. I don't want to use too much wood up. And I don't want to have that furnace burning for too long. Um, especially at night. So we probably need to push it until about maybe 9 nine p.m. And then um, and then from there, uh, we, we can hopefully uh, just sleep for the night. And hopefully we don't get attacked at night, provided we've got our fire off. I'm not overly sure what's going to happen with uh, with weather and stuff, whether it's going to get too cold or what. Okay, we should be able to create ourselves another um, uh, another one of those. And tools-wise, we should be able to create a stone axe. Uh, oh, you dickhead. You don't want a stone axe. Okay. Uh, can you? You can't destroy them. Uh, all right, we need to get ourselves... We need to get ourselves some... Some more fiber and some more uh, and some more stone. So I'm going to do that, guys. I'll see you when that's done. Okay, one thing that I really like, M to move, which is good. That means that what we can do, uh, we can uh, equip the uh, we can well we can make the bloody hammer starters. Make the hammer this time, Simmy. Don't make another pickaxe. I don't know why I did that. Uh, tools. Create a stone hammer. It is crafted. The one thing that's bothering me a little bit is that I can't seem to... I can't take these out. So it's almost like I've got to drop something. It won't swap. Can't shift click. Can't right click. Can't remove it from there. Can't right click that. Move items faster using uh, unstack rotate items when dragging. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to drop our axe. We're going to have to put that in there. 
And then we're going to have to equip that. Uh, yeah, so that probably is something that uh, that needs to be fixed because that's a little bit uh, a little bit frustrating, to be honest. There's a flashlight. I should have put that in there in the first place. All right, so what we want to do is create materials. One and two of those. Okay, and uh, building-wise, uh, housing, we need planks. So we need to make ourselves a saw. How do we make ourselves a saw? do a uh, we can certainly do a storage all right so there's a fair bit to do there's a fair bit to do on here can we <laughs> gotcha gotcha there we go who, who wants to waste arrows not me let's uh consume one of those won't let me consume it oh that's because we're in a uh we're in that menu there there we go lovely all right, so we'll make a chest. We'll put that chest down. Can't chop that tree. Can chop this tree down, which should be good. At least, uh, at least you get a, a lot of warning when the when the seekers are coming. You can hear them from quite a ways away. Ah, uh, we're not. We. Ah, uh, yeah. I I dropped the pickaxe, didn't I? You dick. All right. Stone axe. We'll pick that up. Um. gonna have to drop that i think oh look it allowed me to do it into there so there we go okay interesting number six and we'll build ourselves a uh, we'll build ourselves a chest put some of our stuff in there and then i'm gonna call it um so far guys my thoughts so far i'm enjoying the gameplay at the moment it's um i'm looking forward to doing a little bit of building and stuff like that um I haven't done much map exploring, so I can't really comment on the maps and stuff like that. The game is running really, really, really well. We'll say that. It is running very, very well indeed, um, which is actually a good thing. Uh, can we swap that over there? Yes, we did actually swap it over. No, we didn't swap it over. Um, it is running really, really, really well, so I, I will say that... Uh, uh, that is that is actually a good thing. So there's uh, there's probably eventually more optimization. But we, I mean, we're only in there, we're only in the bush at the moment, you know. Um, so so I'm not. Thought I heard something. Let's create that. Um, so we're we, yeah we're only in the bush at the moment. So you know the the, the possibility is if there's a, which I'm guessing there will be buildings and houses and stuff. They did say that. Um, um that there's a lot of um that, that, that you know that, that there were inhabitants here let's put the 762 over there can we stack the no we can't i wanted to, i really want to keep that on let's uh let's keep the c4 that uh we will put uh the molotov in there i put that in there as well um so yeah anyway everything is running it seems to be running really really well everything works really really well so far it's a little bit cut and paste but um, but at this point in time, um, uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the building works. I'm guessing that it works just as well as what the... Oh, crap. Oh, that was a nice shot, Simi. Oh, where's the other one coming from? There was only one there. There we go. Two shots. Getting better getting better um yeah everything works really really well the the gun seems to work really really well the bow works really really well i'm quite impressed with that as well um the placing is really really easy and nice uh and uh yeah so far i've really got no complaints you know i know that uh, people will say oh you know uh, you, you know you're in a plane crash blah 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 but uh but hmm it might be well worth keeping your eyes on, and I'm probably going to play a little bit more of this. I will probably, I think, play it on stream one night. I uh, will play it for a couple of hours, do some exploration and stuff, so keep your eye out for that. Don't forget to hit like. Thank you so much for watching this first look. Having a squeeze at the Seekers today, and uh, plenty more to come. Thanks, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.